What is up YouTubers, JJ Joe here and today I got the, my very first standard Royal Paladin deck profile for you guys. Now I know standard are things, so sadly Messiahs are going to be in the back burner for a long, long time. In the arms of the angel. Standard is going to be a great thing, I'm already enjoying it, it's a lot of fun. I definitely see myself investing into standard more than I thought I would with premium. And we finally had a very first standard tournament here at Dragon's Lair of Austin. We had over 20 players, a lot of them being new since the format was very welcoming for new players and also re returning players who kind of you know didn't really enjoy uh, the G era as much which is fine perfectly fine you know understandable but the, uh, we had determined we had a lot of players I had a good chance of finally testing out the deck seeing how I liked it because I really did kind of differ slightly off to what other people were thinking about doing Royal Paladins uh, and I saw where I can make some changes really it's only one card and one uh, change of ratio but I will show you guys in the deck profile. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get that started. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with you here with the profile. Uh, I just want to apologize in advance for the angle and lighting. I know uh, it's a little odd and it's going to be great, but I'm still working, you know, getting my office set up. So go ahead and bear with me, guys. But let's go ahead and get started, shall we? So obviously, our starter is going to be Glime. Gleam, Gloom, Glime. I don't know. <laughs> so here I got the starter deck version because it just looks really cool. Uh, Glam skill is one road upon draw a card, and it's going to be pretty much the, st the little <laughs> the standard for all these starting uh, starting Vanguard cards. We, so far, we don't have any forerunners. Uh, we, so far, uh, Battle Riser has a quote unquote forerunner skill. Basically, if you just uh, call the Great to uh, high power of the custom, you can call him out of the soul. But so far, that's the only thing we got equivalent to a forerunner. So for the most part, right now, it, you're basically looking at ride draw for starters. Uh, so, of course, we got the 8 crit, 4 draw, and 4 heal. Uh, for obviously, the draws are RPGs. Now, it's kind of was working on maybe doing 6 draw, 6 crit, or something in that variant. But since you are running the Marins, I'll show them here in a little bit. You already have enough draw power. There's no point of just overdrawing, which gives you a chance of just drawing your triggers, which in hand is good, but you also want to hit them, especially in its, in its format, since really. Uh, only thing you have right now is big numbers and no real pressure. So you obviously you want to make sure you hit your triggers on your trigger check. We are running the four Marin. Yeah. Marin skill is when your other rear guard is placed in the same unit or same column as this unit, you can counter spawn, draw a card, and this unit gets plus three until end of turn. A lot better than our obviously old 8k vanilla Marin, which still is an 8k, which is the standard for standard, uh, at least for force uh, units. Most force units are going to be 8k grade ones with skills. Uh, except I'm running one as a 7k, but I'll show off why. But Marin's really good for that draw power early. Especially when you uh, normally do some Superior Calling with Alfred Skill, the Superior Call Blaster Blade. I always like calling this first. Superior Call, you call using Alfred Skill, Superior Call Blaster here. Uh, so you can get that skill off, get a free Superior Call. Well, not free Superior Call, but get a Superior Call off, get a draw off at the same time. So I'm getting a plus two. And this deck uses a lot of counter blasts, so I really like using my counter blasts mainly for draw or for superior calling. For Lion Main Stallion, Lion Main Stallion, I think, is a really underrated card right now. A lot of people are just either running this at one or two or at zero, and I think that's just not good because uh, Lion Main Skill, if you have four or more rear guards, this unit gets plus three on a turn. It's not restricted to uh, boosting the Vanguard or in the back, it has a boost, it just gets plus four. So essentially, if you have four rear guards, this can be a 10k beater. On the, and in the front row, which is really good. And again, the only restriction is that you need four rear guards, which you're playing Royal Paladin, so you're going to have your your full field. So I think it's really good, especially since you're running Akane. Akane gets plus three when boosted by a high beast. So this with Akane makes a 23k column. And here I was running three Pongo. I'm not, I didn't make the change yet since obviously this is the day after, and I don't have my rares with me. But I think three is too much, uh, mainly because Pongo's skill is when placed, if you have another unit in the same column as this, Mandatory uh, Soul Charge 1, and if the card you Soul Charge the trigger, this unit gets plus 5 until on a turn. Now, it's good, you know, for you, you want to set up for Soul Saver, uh, and that's really what this card is used for, because after that one Spirit Call, you take the top of your card, you Soul Charge it, and then you really don't get anything out of that. Sure, you can get a plus 5 as a trigger, but that really is, is a shame. I mean, it's cool that you get a little bonus if you do actually Soul Charge the trigger. But the only time I use this is when I, I like riding Akane for turn two. You just kind of skill to call this behind the, the Vanguard and swing on Akane being a 21. 
uh, possible 26 to get the trigger. And you know, normally they're going to no in Vanguard attack anyways at that point. So there's no point of you getting a power boost. So I think running set three just isn't good. And the reason why I want to run this at two is because during the tournament, uh, I actually I had to call three Pungles because I did the one with Superior Calling and the other two were just I didn't have any other cards at hand to and I had to call Field to, to get some numbers in and start attacking. So I called my other two and since I had units here I had a mandatory Soul Charge 2 and in the end these three Pungles Soul Charge 3 in my heals and since I didn't have my heals the heals never went up so I was just taking all these big attacks and I didn't have you know the 20k guard to guard their big their other attacks that I normally could have guarded. And it cost me the game. So, since Pongo is searchable to Kane, two is the number you want. And moving up to Morgana. Morgana is going to be at three. Morgana is a really, really good grade one. So, her skill is so plus one when it's gendered attacks. It gets plus three for each grade of your Vanguard. Is here right there, plus nine is grade three. Uh, so, it's really good. You can use this for early rush. You need to run your four blaster blade. Arise my avatar. The royal paladin that wields the sword of light, a soldier in the army of Kray's holy nation, the United Sanctuary! Blaster Blade! It's, uh, this is a really good Blaster Blade. Not like the great Blaster Blade, but he's actually just a lot better than his obviously former self. So, uh, on Vanguard, if you have four or more rears, this gets a critical plus one. Uh, which is really great. I mean, obviously, I'm, this, that skill is going to be used a lot in premium since you want to ride him since you're running out for early and even in standard if you're running out for early that's cool so but after it depends on the ring early so if you do have to ride him and you call your units call your wingles this gets plus one critical if you call your wingle here uh this gets plus 13 that's obviously a 23 with a crit obviously you're vanked to uh your opponent which is kind of good but again it's up to you i'm probably gonna be i'm premium I already have kind of a deck going for that but for standard, you do not want to ride your Blaster Blade, so more than likely you're not going to get that skill off. And even if you are ride, forced to ride Blaster Blade, the chance of you in standard having essential cards to call during turn two is really small. So a lot of times you're not going to get that skill off. But uh, his other skills, Vanguard, Rear Guard, uh, kind of plus one, soul plus one. Choose one of your opponent's Rear Guards in the front row and retire it. And that's really, really good. Uh, again, it sends only Counter Blast. I use it very... Uh, sparingly since again this deck does use a lot of counter blast i like to have my counter blast for marins akane's and alfred uh, but this helps get rid of my cards like again uh nova grappler you want to limit their field because if you keep attacking the rear guards you're making them deplete hand to bring those resources back which means they don't have guard for late game and then also again uh, silent stuff like silent tom because silent tom you know you don't want that on the field or akane I love this new Akane. This Akane is great. Yeah, a lot of people are mad that she's a triple rare, but she's really, really good, really, really effective. Because her skill is uh, on place, count of us one, search your deck for up to one Pongle, uh, call it to, and you can call it the rear shelf of your deck. So you don't have to call it underneath her, which is cool. So if you have to search your Pongle, you can call her, you can go Pongle anywhere you want. Uh, but obviously, activate Pongle skill has got to be called uh, in the same column as a unit already to get the soul charge off. So if you want the soul charge, you gotta make sure you call it uh, in the column. But normally, if you just need another unit, you can call Pongo over here. Uh, so it makes it kind of a good turn too. If you don't need a soul charge, you can call Kana here. Counter blast one. Call your Pongo over here. It already gives you uh, an extra two units already. Or you can call it here, but it's whatever. Uh, and in her secondary skill, as like I mentioned earlier, uh, during the battle, this unit is boosted by high beast. She gets plus three. Since you know I am running Pongos and I'm running line mana four. This makes her always hitting for 23. Yeah, it's not a quote-unquote magic number since uh, crits are 15k now. But, you know, at least you're hitting your opponent. You're going to force him to drop the crit now anyways. Uh, so it's really good. So essentially, you're making them drop guard. And you always, and this deck is designed to always hit above 20. Uh, just because I like hitting for numbers. I am running for uh, Save the Arch of Jorin. Jorin, Jorin. Uh, see, a lot of people are not running this guy. And originally, I was just going to run it three because I was doing uh, 11 grade twos. But I'm doing 12 grade twos now. You saw I'm doing 13 grade ones, which I think is, since you're not running perfect guards, you have a lot more options in your grade ones. So I think running 13 grade ones and 12 grade twos is a pretty good number. Uh, sure, you lose the 10, you know, you're losing extra 5k because now you had to take out one less grade ones, which grade ones have 10k guard, while grade twos have 5k guard. But that's fine because, again, you know, you're only going to need three grade ones here, anyways. 
So you can make room for your aggressive turns. And I, the reason why I say aggressive is because he's a 10k and when he, you attack, you have three or more rear guards, he gets plus five. So he's a 15k by himself. So again, boosted by uh, line main, he's 25. So again, and then any other 8k, he's 23. And that's what you want. Again, you just want to keep punching your opponent. Um, my deck is designed, or all attacks, unless I'm right on Soul Saver. And again, if I have Soul Saver, I call something. Soul Saver is going to be over 20 anyway. So all my attacks will always be over 20, 21, 23, 25. It's always going to happen. And that's what you want to do because, again, you want to make your opponent drop those cards. Those crits are now more effective to guard with, and you're just hitting your opponent. So now their grade, they can't really use their grade ones to guard these attacks because now they have to guard and drop big numbers. And I think he's a really good card. He's only a common from the trial deck, but he's just a really powerful unit on his own. And again, you put a force on him. And he's just he's 25 on. You're running four King of Knights Alfred. Uh, I was at first super disappointed when, they, when this card was revealed because the skill it was just so mediocre to me, and I hated that it was Blaster Blade reliant compared to the old King of Knights Alfred, who was his rear guard reliant. Uh, but with playtesting, he is pretty darn good. He he helps deck thinning. Yeah, you still have to rely on Blast Blade, which makes Blast Blade a huge target for people. They're always going to punch your Blast Blade and it's going to force you to counter Blast Superior and call another. But, you know, in the end, I realize in playtesting, it's not that bad. I'm, this, I'm always going to get his skill off. I'm always going to give him the plus 10. And if you don't know, the plus his skill is uh, continuous. If you have a Blast Blade Rear Guard, he gets plus 10. Make it a 23 during uh, your turn. Uh, and then... Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, act one, uh, counter plus one. So you deck for up to one card with Blaster Blade. Uh, call it to rear, and if you call, he gets plus five and shuffle. So not him, but the Blaster Blade. So again, a little bit weaker than Alpha Early. With Alpha Early skill is counter plus one. Uh, you can give call Blaster Blade from Solar Hand. He gets plus ten and a draw. So he's not that powerful, but he is the superior call because he does select the deck as well. So if you didn't see your Blaster Blades, you can just grab from deck again, which helps with really good deck thinning. And then he'll always be 23, which means, like I said before, you're, you're hit, you're swinging already. If he's boosted, he's 31. If you got the, if you did Radicane, you called your Pongo here. Uh, Kyrnas Alpha is always going to hit for 31, and that's really, really good. Or Soul Server Dragon. Soul Server Dragon's really, really good because now she's an act and not an auto. And the act is Soul plus five and two six year units, and you get plus 15,000 on a turn. Uh, Soul Server is a really great finisher. Uh, so as you know, if you've been paying attention to your opponent's hand, you know what they got. Uh, and it's kind of small. Essentially, you're giving plus 30 to your columns. And the top, by this point, if you ride Soul Saver, uh, you're going to have at least two Force Markers here. So that's giving your 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 Vanguard, getting, your Vanguard columns getting plus 30. Your Rear Guards are getting plus 40,000 uh, power. And you're just hitting your opponent. I've been hit up to 90,000 already. Uh, so it's really, really good. And then her uh, second skill is when attacks, you may soul charge one. So I like my soul saver is that it's a you may. So you don't always have to do it. But what's good about doing it is if you do have the Morgana, uh, this is good for swinging and always resourcing your, your Morgana. So you can swing soul charge one, use Morgana skill to soul blast that card. So Morgana always has uh, resources to use skill. So anyways, guys, that is my deck profile. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the, in the description down below. What do you guys think? Do you guys have options yourselves? Obviously, we are uh, these slaves are relevant for our group because our community is actually hitting our five-year anniversary. So, perfect time to get these in. <laughs> but again, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Uh, you guys have their profiles? Let me know. And, I'll, you know, give me a description. I'll check it out for you guys in the link down below. I mean, put your link in the description, top comments down below. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to see more videos. Like and post a comment if you thought it was awesome town. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, and all that good stuff. Go ahead and check out my Patreon. This is Jersey Joe and signing out.